If somebody wrongs you, they say, don't get mad, get even. But for people who are as calculating as they are creative, they do get mad, and then they get even. From unleashing a torrent of bugs on a bullying brother to some of the most hilarious paybacks against cheating partners you'll ever hear about, it's time to laugh at even more passive-aggressive ways that people got revenge. The Real Blue's Clues Neighbors can make your home life a dream or a nightmare. But let's just say Be Amazed viewer Angel Help 777 had some pretty trashy neighbors. Every garbage day, they'd let their Labrador run into Angel Help's yard, rip all of his trash bags open, and litter the crappy contents everywhere. No matter how many times he asked them to keep their dog under control, they never listened. But one day, he finally decided enough was enough and came up with a plan to stop this mutt's mess for good. Because he worked for a printing company, he had access to a big can of sticky, slow-drying blue ink, the kind that can make a real mess. He then bought and ate a box of KFC chicken before tying the leftover chicken bones to the bottom of the box. Perfect bait for any hungry pup. Finally, he smeared as much of the ink as he could all over the bottom of the box, turning it into a trap. Now, before PETA starts spamming the comments, it was a soy-based, non-poisonous ink, so completely harmless to the dog. But very, very hard to get off anything it touched. After putting the box inside one of his trash bags, Angel Help left it on the curb with the rest, and the trap was set. When he went out the next day, the trash bag had, unsurprisingly, been torn open. But this time, a trail of blue paw prints led away from the scene of the crime. It seemed his plan had worked. Two days later, Angel Help noticed a carpet company van pulled up outside his neighbor's house. Casually, he wandered over and asked what was up, and listened quietly as the neighbor angrily told him how their dog had come running into the house coated in a load of <clears throat> blue stuff. The carpet was covered, the couch was wrecked, everything was ruined. In total, the damage cost them thousands of dollars. Angel Help smiled, said no more, and left. As for the dog, it never bothered him again. What perfect revenge. Salty Surprise Everybody has that one friend that just loves to annoy you. Well, Reddit user Sweet Pursuit's wife loved to annoy him back when they were dating. One time they'd gone to a movie theater and sat down to enjoy the film when he asked if she'd like any refreshments. Just a drink, she said. So he left to grab a drink for his girlfriend and some popcorn for himself. But then it hit him. She was definitely going to start eating his popcorn as soon as he sat back down. It was something she did every time. So, after being served, he took his popcorn over to the station and put a normal amount of butter and salt on the popcorn around the edges. Then he grabbed a huge helping of salt and dumped it all right in the middle before returning to his seat. He proceeded to eat the safe popcorn from around the sides, just as his girlfriend predictably stole a huge scoop of it straight from the middle, laughing at him as she did. But the laughter didn't last long. As soon as the treat hit her tongue, her expression changed from glee to horror, and it was Sweet Pursuit's turn to laugh. Even though it was some perfectly petty payback, I hope she wasn't too salty about it. Now, to stop you getting all salty, you should hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never miss out on any of the amazing new content I've got coming your way. Anyway, back to the good stuff. Doorsome Revenge I think we can all agree that cheating partners are the absolute worst. But when Reddit user <laughs> rsoul caught his wife cheating on him, she had the audacity to tell him to pack his stuff and go. Uh, wow. Like a gentleman, he agreed, but only if he could leave the next day. Well, the next day came, 
and once his soon-to-be ex-wife went to work, he dutifully started packing up his stuff and loading it into his van. However, he had more than just his clothes and the TV in mind. In fact, he'd only recently replaced their front door, but it was still outstanding on his credit card. So, technically, that counted as his, right? Wasting no time, this wronged husband got to work unscrewing the door from the frame, pulling it out, and packing it into his van as well. Just before she was due to get back from work, he asked the neighbors to watch the place and drove off. About an hour later, a phone call came through, which he sent straight to voicemail. Apparently, she wasn't very happy about being left doorless. Then, the police rang. This time, he answered, but after explaining to them that it was his front door, they apologized. And to top it all off, whenever the couple had argued in the past, her favorite thing to say was, you know where the door is? No, he sure did know where the door was now, in the back of his van. Payback There are many ways to get revenge on a cheating partner, but if you happen to be a tattoo artist, then there's one method that stands out above the rest. The story goes that a woman from Ohio cheated on her tattooist boyfriend with his best friend. The boyfriend found out, but decided to act like he didn't know, all so he could plot the perfect revenge. One day, she hopped into his chair and he got to work on a back tattoo she'd asked for, a beautiful illustration from the Chronicles of Narnia. But after the whole grueling process was finished, she turned to look into the mirror and saw this. A great, big, stinking pile of poop complete with buzzing flies. Fortunately for my faith in humanity, it turns out the whole tale was an internet prank. That tattoo is very real though, and just goes to show how important it is to check reviews before you buy anything. Oh, and another word of advice, please don't get your partner's face tattooed anywhere on you. But if you do, and then split up with them, well, at least you can do what this guy did. It's not exactly revenge, but I bet it felt devilishly good. A real potty mouth. Now, manners don't cost a thing, but if you're not careful, a lack of manners can cost you your dignity. One man found this out the hard way after being politely asked by a construction worker to move his truck. He'd parked up on an active site to use the portable toilet, but was right in the way of the work going on. Instead of moving his vehicle, though, he just told the worker to <clears throat> off and then went to the toilet anyway. Big mistake. As soon as the foul-mouthed man closed the door behind him, the construction worker leapt into the nearest digger. He swung the machine's massive arm around until it was right in front of the porta potty pushed up against the door, trapping the rude guy firmly inside, after what I can imagine were some pretty pathetic pleas coming from the potty. The worker promised to release the guy on one condition, that he apologize sincerely. And that, kids, is why you never disrespect hardworking people who can operate heavy machinery. Never let go. Nobody likes being woken up in the middle of the night by a loud noise. Never mind one coming from inside your room. But for 18-year-old Reddit user Frank the Tank 8, this was the norm. He'd moved back into his mom's house and ended up in the worst room available, the basement, with the annoyingly loud washing machine. Now, this wouldn't have been a problem if his brother hadn't insisted on doing his laundry at two in the morning. No matter how many times Frank the Tank told him to stop, even resorting to turning the machine off multiple times, his brother kept using it at all hours. Well, one day, Frank the Tank simply had enough. It just so happened that as well as the washing machine, the freezer was also kept in the basement. After the latest surprise attack, he waited until his brother had gone back upstairs before getting up and pulling the sodden contents out of the machine. Then he took the clothes over to the freezer and threw them all inside, laughing maniacally as he did so. Okay, so maybe he didn't laugh maniacally, but I would have done. Have you ever tried putting on frozen clothes? It's very hard, literally. Frank the Tank wasn't the only one to go through with this perfectly petty idea, though. 
One disgruntled resident caught someone they shared the laundry room with taking out their clothes mid-wash to put their own in. So, naturally, instead of confronting the offending party, they wrote them a nice note, removed the other person's wet clothes, and left them outside in the snow. Yeah, they might tell you that revenge is a dish best served cold, but it's really best served frozen solid. Note thanks. When you're out at a bar or a restaurant, being on the receiving end of bad customer service can ruin the whole experience. But after one customer was annoyed at a rude member of bar staff, the disgruntled drinker decided to put a real dampener on their night. They asked for a glass of water, then took out some cash to pay their tab. However, rather than leaving the bills on the bar, they dunked them straight into the water, put a plate on top, and flipped the whole thing over. I bet the guy behind the bar was flipping them something too. Drama at the theater. We've all been there. You're at the movie theater trying to watch a film, but somebody behind you has their feet on your seat, nudging your chair annoyingly. Well, Reddit user Dirty Harry was in the same position, only the somebody behind them had their feet on top of his seat. He endured a few minutes of the rudeness before turning around and asking her kindly to stop. The girl's response? If you don't like it, move to another seat. Oh, Dirty Harry didn't like this one bit. So he got up, left his friends, and instead sat right behind the girl. His own feet were particularly pungent that day, and they were even starting to bother him. So clearly it was time to unleash these beasts. Taking his shoes off, he put his stinky, sweaty feet up on the girl's chair and gave it a good kick. She turned round to argue, visibly disgusted at the stench. And what did Dirty Harry say? If you don't like it, move to another seat. Furious, she got up and moved. And he rejoined his friends. I hope he put his shoes back on after, otherwise the whole theater might have had to clear out. Rapper's Delight Roommates pranking each other is a pretty common occurrence. But what would you do if your roommate gave you some jerky and you bit into it to find out it was dog food? One guy did exactly that to everyone he was living with, thinking he was a comedian, then went on vacation and accidentally left his bedroom door unlocked. The people he'd wronged got straight to work, wrapping absolutely everything he owned in over half a mile of plastic wrap. Four hours of hard labor later, and I'd say the result was well worth it. It's not just plastic wrap that can be used as an excellent tool for retribution, though. I'm not even sure what this office worker did to deserve, uh, you know, their entire desk and equipment being wrapped in tinfoil. Maybe their name was Dwight Schrute. For wrapping-based revenge, though, nothing can top what one roommate did to his friend after a particularly imaginative balloon prank. He'd gone out of town for a short time, but when he got back and opened his bedroom door, more than 400 pink balloons were there to greet him. A cute placard in the middle proclaimed him to be a princess. But uh, this pretty princess was not amused. Biding his time, he waited until the offending roommate went on his own vacation. Then, he bought more Christmas wrapping paper than I've used in a whole decade and wrapped everything from the bed to the curtains and walls in festive, fun stuff. He even got a Christmas tree. How long this insane achievement took is anyone's guess. But if I came home to this, I'd be more impressed than annoyed. Would you be? Let me know down in the comments. Car Trashtrophy Don't you just hate it when you see a big, stinking pile of trash dumped somewhere it shouldn't be? As much as we all hate it, most people, including me, would drive straight on by if we saw this pile of garbage in the road. But one man, while driving through the U.S. state of California, stopped and rummaged through it. What in God's name would possess him to do that, I hear you ask? Well, it turns out this guy was looking for anything with an address on it, like a utility bill, so that he could figure out who the trashy owner was. And oh boy, he found something. You might be able to guess where this is going. 
After arduously collecting all the trash and throwing it in his trailer, the justice-seeking citizen then drove all the way to the dumper's house. And when he got there, he dumped every last piece of trash right in front of their yard. Mmm, I can smell the justice from here. And it smells bad. Terrible Tenants Unfortunately, people don't just leave unwanted trash outside. When French landlord Thomas Raveau came to inspect one of his houses, he was horrified at what the previous tenants had left behind. Rather than the clean, tidy state he told them to leave it in, he was greeted with this. Boxes of dirty old belongings, furniture lying broken on the floor, and a kitchen that you couldn't even stand in to turn the light on. It didn't just look bad, it smelt terrible too. Like rotting food mixed with poop? Yep, animal droppings also covered almost every room in the house. Or at least Thomas hoped they were animal droppings. He'd never seen anything this bad in his life. And he wasn't going to let them walk away with it either. After painstakingly lugging everything out of the hideous hellhole, he hired a truck to pick all of the trash up. It didn't take long to find the tenant's new address. And when he got there, retribution was swift. I bet those tenants were feeling pretty down in the dumps after seeing that. Bug Out whether you've ever been picked on or not, we can all agree that bullying is a horrible thing to do, especially to a sibling. And back when Reddit user Perfunctory lived with her older brother, she knew this all too well. Day in, day out, he would tease her, beat her up, and be outright mean. One day, when she was 13 and her brother was 15, she had some leftovers from a great restaurant that she'd specifically told him not to eat. Of course, the minute she turned her back, he gobbled up every last bite. Her mom and dad didn't seem to care, grade-A parenting there, so perfunctory decided to take matters into her own hands. She went to the pet store, bought three dozen huge crickets, then waited until nighttime to empty every last one of them into her brother's gym bag. The next day, he went to football practice, and perfunctory watched anxiously from the bleachers. Soon, the moment came that she'd been waiting for. Her brother reached for the booby-trapped bag, and when he opened it, his reaction was better than she could have imagined. Thirty-six huge crickets all leapt out at once, and her brother let out an ear-piercing scream. Everybody else on the pitch came running in from all directions to witness the hulking, six-foot-tall guy flailing around and wailing in terror. All the while, his sweet little sister feigned shock and concern. Nobody ever suspected her, and nobody ever let him live it down. Perfunctory may have only been faking sweetness, but there was nothing fake about her sweet, sweet revenge. Spice Cream If you've ever shared a dorm with someone at college, you've probably encountered a food thief or two. You know, that person that seems to really love cheese but never buys it for themselves? Well, back in 2016, Reddit user Unusually Calm had just such a thief in his college dorm, though this guy had a thing for ice cream. After losing two tubs of the delicious treat to a mystery thief, Unusually Calm decided to exact cold, calculated revenge. Anything but unusually calm, the aggrieved student went to the store and bought a third tub of ice cream, but he also bought some of the hottest chili powder he could find. The Scorching Carolina Reaper Back in the dorm while everyone was out, he began mixing all of the powder with the ice cream. Then, he slid the spicy hot monstrosity back into the tub and put it in the freezer. Sadly for us, we don't know what became of either student. We can only hope this revenge was served spicy. Parking Carnage 
We've all witnessed some really terrible crimes against parking at some point in our lives. Most of us just shake our heads and move on. But some people feel the need to enforce a little parking lot law. For example, the owner of this car's ego was so huge that they parked their car across two spaces. Having such an inflated sense of self-importance, they probably didn't expect to return from the store to find a shopping cart zip-tied to the driver's door. <laughs> It'd be a real shame if that store didn't sell scissors. But it's not always about parking. Although the owner of this car was parked perfectly, they made the big mistake of angering somebody who had a lot of plastic wrap and time to spare. I kind of hope this guy was running late for work as well, just to add the cherry on top of this plastic wrapped revenge. In parts of China, neighborhoods have waste collection stations, where all the households in the area take their trash to be picked up by sanitation workers. Do you think these garbage sites sound like clever places to park? Neither do I. But ridiculously, someone did, and in doing so, blocked both an emergency fire lane and got in the way of a worker trying to do his job. With no way to contact the owner of the vehicle, the worker decided the only solution was to exact revenge, in the hope they'd never do something so stupid again. And revenge doesn't get sweeter or sweatier than heaving 37 garbage cans to completely surround the offending vehicle. With a bit of hard labor, the car owner could have driven out of that mess, which is more than I can say for this next dopey driver. Somehow, whoever was driving this car managed to not only take up two spaces at once, but also parked in what is very obviously the coach lot. I mean, really? It comes as no surprise that when one of the final two coaches arrived and couldn't get a spot, they decided to take the perfect revenge. You want to park there, do you? Then you can stay parked there. Oh, I do love a bit of karma. Sandy Surprise When you're out on the beach, there's nothing more fun than building a sandcastle. However, there are spoil sports who like nothing better than ruining other people's hard work. Case in point, Redditor Just a Fiery Lizard was at the beach one day with their family when some bully with nothing better to do flattened their sandcastle. After complaining to their uncle about the sadistic sand stomper, he taught them how to stop the bullies dead in their tracks. You turn the sand castles into sand traps. First off, you dig a very deep but very narrow hole, just wide enough that an unsuspecting leg can fit in. Over this, you build a thick sand dome which covers the hole from sight. Wait, hold up, a sand dome? How does that work? Well, according to Just a Fiery Lizard, the trick is to be very careful and build two bridgers over the first pit forming a cross shape. Then, you build up each quarter until you reach the last one. For this final quarter, you dig out a little sub-pit and rest your arm in it. Then you use both arms to build the quarter up before sliding your arm out and covering the sub-pit up. A cute little castle on top of the dome finishes the whole thing and makes it irresistible for castle wreckers. It's a tough process and takes plenty of practice, but just a fiery lizard was determined to get their own back. And the hard work paid off. Over the years, they caught countless fun sponges this way. Over they'd come, smugly ready to ruin someone's day, and just after taking an almighty leap, bang, they'd fall straight through the dome into their sandy doom. Anyone else itching to go to the beach and try this out for themselves now? Set in concrete Every couple, no matter how perfect, have the occasional disagreement. Most of the time, they're solved in a cordial matter. Most, but not all. Prepare yourself because this is the most insane story yet. Back in 2017, a couple in St. Petersburg, Russia were going through a bit of a rough patch, and it was about to get a whole lot rougher. A local supermarket chain called Veni, loyal in Russian, was offering a promotion to pay out 50,000 rubles, or $870 a month, to anyone willing to change their birth name to the brand name. Without thinking, the wife took full advantage of this and changed her name. 
without telling her husband. So, naturally, when he got home to find out he'd now have to call out the equivalent of Walmart while engaged in uh, certain activities with her, he wasn't exactly happy. In fact, he was so annoyed that he took her car, drove it to the nearest Vigny supermarket, and hired a cement truck. Without pausing, he directed the truck to start pouring its immense load straight through the open window of her car. And once it started, it just kept going and going and going. Only when his wife's precious vehicle was utterly drowned in the hard-setting stuff did he eventually call it a day. Jeez. I don't know about you, but I think this probably resulted in some legal action from the wife's end. I mean, the whole thing was recorded on camera, so she's got concrete evidence. Okay then, that's just about all the outrageous tales of revenge that I can handle for one day. But if you want to hear more, be sure to check out parts 1 and 2 of this series on my channel. And have you ever gotten some awesomely passive-aggressive revenge on anyone? Let me know down in the comments below, and hey, who knows, you might make it into the next video. Thanks for watching.